It's a banger. It's a banger. It's a banger. So pretty. Shaka Starks and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. I am about to do some tapings. I'm really excited about this because my last taping video, I had no idea what I was doing and I feel like now, you know, looking back, um, as always, I've learned from my mistakes and I'm excited to like do things a little different. So I have tapings from Y Wigs. And, um, so excited. Not as scared as I was the first time, but very excited because one of the things I really, really wanted to try and one of the things that I'm like, yeah, this would be so much better if is a different texture. A texture that wasn't straight, a texture that is curly or wavy, I really wanted to try because with the straight hair, although it was nice and pretty easy to maintain it was straight so my hair you know as soon as my hair would start to revert a little bit you could totally tell so this is their curly hair it's in 22 inches it's so pretty and I also think it's going to help my hair look fuller because my hair is super fine I am really excited so this is what the tape looks like so this is their natural deep wave texture it's so bouncy and springy and it just looks so pretty look at the ends y'all it looks so good from the top to the bottom and so I got three bundles in 22 inches I highly doubt I'll be able to put all of this hair in my hair but I'm really gonna try it because I want a very full look um you know my hair is super fine and my head is pretty small so we're gonna see how many of these i can fit on my head so of course i am starting off with freshly washed hair i did my silk press if you want to see how i got this look go back and watch my silk press video because that's really important to just start on hair that is straight and clean so that the adhesive does not slip. If, if your hair is oily or dirty, this adhesive is not going to stick and your tapins will be sliding out. So make sure your hair is clean and it's also just easier to work with. It's easier to kind of see how your final look is going to be and you know where you want to place your tape in. So something that I'm doing different this time is I'm going going to make sure that my tape ins are going toward my face. Last time I kind of just did them straight back in a line because I had no idea what I was doing and I was really really scared but this time I'm feeling more confident and I'm just gonna kind of do what I know works just like if I'm laying my tracks for a sew in or a quick weave or even how I do my um even how I do my clip-ins so I'm going to try to mimic that install um, I'm not gonna leave a lot of hair out in between that's something that I did before that I don't think is necessary unless you want to like part your hair more places and I don't like I just want to be able to wear it down in a middle part and maybe in a side part so I'm also this time going to try to make sure that these are closer together this is what it looks like when you peel the tape off like that and this is how much hair is on each piece really excited i am hoping that it gives me you know a lot of fullness in body and volume and all that good stuff so uh, let's go ahead and get started i start by parting off uh, the back of my hair just to make sure there's enough hair out so if i do want to pull it up i can cover um i probably could have done a little less hair because tape ins are so thin like you don't need a lot to cover they're so flat 
Um, so don't leave too much out because then it will be harder to blend with the curly hair if your hair is straight like mine. And I like to start by putting the tape in flipped up and then whatever is left on the tape, flipping that down and taking the second tape in and sandwiching that on top. Um, I'm going to do it a few times so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. I start by doing the tape in upside down, then flipping it over, then sandwiching it. Um, do whatever works for you. I've tried both ways. I have um, I know that some people do it the opposite way. And shout out to y'all in the comments who was like, girl, that's so much harder. Um, but for me, this is just easier. I don't know why. It just, I just went faster this way. So this is what I prefer to do. Um, when I got in the front, I did kind of switch, maybe because I could see it a little better and I didn't have to worry about too much hair sticking onto the tape, but do whatever works for you. into my son's bathroom again just because his bathroom has this giant mirror and it has he has this medicine cabinet mirror which makes it so much easier to see the back of my head so if you have one of these or if you just have a place where you can angle the mirrors perfectly you need to be able to see the back um the lighting is not that great but i can see what i'm doing so Here's what the back looks like. It's nice and flat. I'm just doing exactly what I was doing before, which is parting, doing it upside down, sticking that tape onto my head, um, well, on like a little above that part. And then I'm just gonna flip it back over. Whatever is stuck on the tape, I'm going to sandwich that in between another piece of tape. You don't want a lot of hair in between, y'all, because it won't stick. Like, you don't want the adhesive sticking directly to your hair or like hanging on like a thin piece of hair or your scalp. You really want the two adhesives to stick together. So that's why I use the term like I use the sandwich method I don't know how else to describe it I think that's pretty self-explanatory you want a very thin piece of hair in the middle so the two sticky adhesive pieces are sticking to each other and it's not just hanging onto your hair so I'm just going to continue going around my head doing these tape ends until I get to the top Also super important that before you're like pressing it together to secure it, you're making sure that this tape in is flexible and you can move it up and down. So you wanna flip it and make sure that it's not uncomfortable when you move it up and down. That will let you know that you'll be able to put your hair up if you want to and it won't create any tension or be really uncomfortable so before you sandwich it together and like really secure it by by pushing it in just kind of move it around and make sure it's at a good place um, so I'll like press it in lightly some people also use a flat iron to secure this adhesive I don't do that I think that um, just pushing it, pressing it together is good enough, but do whatever works for you. So I'm doing the front of my hair, and this is when I start to put these tape-ins um, toward my face. 
So instead of like going straight back, I'm kind of doing it at an angle so I make sure that it falls toward my face um, so that my edges are covered or any like thin areas are covered. So here's the hair that I'm leaving out in the middle and I'm also leaving out some on the sides. So I have a middle and a side part. And my hair is done. I didn't style it or do anything to it. I just brushed it out and put it in these two fat uh, little twists. So I'm just gonna show y'all in love. But I'm going to show y'all what it's looking like and style my hair with y'all. So, yeah, this hair is gorgeous. And I didn't even do anything to blend it yet because I had to find a wand curler because I just love this curl pattern and I wanted to keep it. I thought about straightening it and then curling it, but this pattern is so pretty look at this y'all so big and fluffy so let me show you what I did um so I have these going toward my face over here I don't plan on pulling it up but if I wanted to I would probably just pull it back like this um i have a little hair out in the back like the tiniest bit again i don't plan on wearing my hair out but i definitely could if i wanted to and then this is where i did something different i wanted to be able to have a middle part and potentially a side part but I didn't want to have like so much leave out where it was going to be really difficult to blend. So I just put two tape ins right here and I will be able to flip that over and have a side part if I want. Love that for me. Okay. Love that for me. I'm probably just going to keep it twisted like at night. Like I just showed you um also my hair is also really fine at the top and in the middle so i didn't bring the tape in all the way up because if i did my hair is just it wouldn't have like i don't know i don't think i would have felt comfortable and like also my hair is really fragile in the middle just like my edges so i try not to get too close to that area i'm really trying to be delicate with my hair and mindful of like my sensitive spots um i'll go into some more detail about that in another video but i say all that to say the more um tape ins you use closer to your parts the easier it's going to be to blend your hair if your hair is not already 
this curly texture. Um, so I'm gonna have to do a little more wand curls for my leave out. Let's see, this is all my leave out. I'm gonna, just gonna have to do a little bit more wand curls there to blend it, but it's all good. Get into this texture. Get into this texture. This is their body wave, y'all. This feels really good. It's so soft and it's so dense. So it makes my hair look really full. I really like the way that that looks. And it still blends. Um, like the texture still matches my texture. Even though I haven't like... Even though I haven't even did the wand curls yet. So I'm just going ahead and... Brushing it out, just making sure that there are no tangles because I want to put a little bit of layers in the front. Oops. And obviously, I'm making sure not to like brush from the top. Start from the bottom and work your way up if you have tangles. Um, I just want to trim a little bit. This is where my hair starts. I'm just gonna try to like blend down from there. If you have real long hair, be careful with this part because it's not like your hair is braided up. It's not a sewing. You'll end up cutting your hair. I know where my hair stops, so that's pretty much where I'm starting the layer. Looks so good. The end looks so good. I don't even feel the need to trim them. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. This side, I'll do a little less because I have more leave out on this side. Because I have my side part here out. It's so comfortable. Like I'm brushing right through it. No snags, no tangles. Um... It's an easy hairstyle to do, but definitely takes patience because you don't want to pull and snag your hair. This is the one curler that I'm using. It's, I got it from TJ Maxx. It's from a brand called Jim, um, G-E-M, Jim. And I'm, it came with three different, um, adjustable thingies I'm using the three fourths inch because I want to use the smallest one to mimic uh this curl pattern so I'm just gonna do wand curls where my leave out is and throughout the hair just to make sure that they're all going in the same direction um I'm not going all the way down the, the strands. I'm just kind of doing it where my hair is so it's blended. I don't really need to worry about the curls at the bottom and I really don't want to lose this curl pattern. So my focus is just to blend my natural hair with this curl pattern.
just wet my brush and I'm just going to brush. It's a banger. It's a banger. It's a banger. So pretty. I'm obsessed with this hair. It is so versatile. It's so comfortable. It was really easy. I can do so many styles. Like, get into this texture, y'all. So, if you like this hair, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Leave me some love in the comment section. And make sure you shop the links below for Y Wigs. This was my first time using this company, and I will definitely be using them again. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.